you know what, guys? Everybody thought I was crazy. Why bother picking it up? Why waste your time with it? You're never going to use it. Looks terrible. You can't build anything out of it. Well, I, I tell you guys, you never know. Nope, none there. You never know when you're going to use something in this game. That's why I have like a bajillion chests full of cobble. You just never know. I don't need it now. Someday. <laughs> Alright, I want to try it out. We are in the new snapshot. I'm, I'm checking it out. I'm very excited about the redstone update. Lots of cool new features. Um, sadly, <laughs> can't make the hopper in vanilla. I was... I think that's the thing I'm most excited about, and I can't play with it today in the LP. But uh, I did play it with it in creative a bit. This is my first time doing this as well. Oop. Give it back. Can't shift click. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, there's that new uh, weird controls with the shifting and whatnot. Anyway, so that's what it looks like, huh? This thing you need four. Snag that one. And. Booyah! Out, get XP, that's good. Netherberg. <laughs> that's awesome. So, in my LP, I actually don't have a lot of LP world. I don't have a lot of Netherberg. I think this is about all of it, actually. Yep. So that is really nice to have here. On Minecraft, I have tons of it, so not as big of a deal. But I also have a lot more netherrack there, too. Um, but as for today, I was walking through here, and it's like, what can we do with the new features? And I, I saw this, and I saw this. It's like, how about this for a, for a good uh, redstone update project? Let's... Let's try to get a light sensor that will light this up during the day, because it's it's pretty dark, these leaves. Light these all up during the day, and at night they'll go dark. Because, you know, it's not bad if they're dark. Like, I don't mind it like this, but we can have a little visual indicator. Because down in my cave, I have a hard time telling what time it is. I got a few clocks around the place to help, but... Yeah. So I'm going to head on over to the nether and see if I can find some of that quartz crystal. I have also haven't seen that myself, so I'm, I'm curious to see what it looks like. This might be a new fortress, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to, oh, what, is that it? What is that? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm trying to generate new chunks to find this stuff. I think that's it. I've never seen that before. Oh yeah, there's lots of it. Oh wow. Cool. I thought it was going to be actual crystals. Uh, not solid blocks like this. And do I have fortune? No. I brought silk touch. Let's try silk touch. <laughs> I'm scared the lava's flowing because it's a brand new area. Oh, you can pick up the whole thing. Nether quartz ore. Uh, yeah, so on my adventure here, I... I'm being a little bit, what's the word, brave? No, 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 foolish. <laughs> I'm I'm playing on hard, and I came here with just my just my boots on, so hopefully we can get back. Okay, so Silk Touch works on it. Gives you XP, okay, and you get little quartz crystals. Nether quartz. Very cool. So I'm, I guess I'll just grab a bit of this stuff. Seems to spawn in pretty big uh, chunks, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And fairly common. They must... Can I place actual quartz? No. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm guessing they're planning to have quite a few uses for it if it's this common, although they might change that. Like, there's... There's... It's everywhere, by the looks of it. Two. Let's just 
go a little bit further. I'm curious to see if we'll s see a lot more as we go. Oh yeah, there's streaks there. Pretty good. In the ceiling. Yep. All right. Well, I guess I'll head back. Whoa. What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what? No. <laughs> the heck? Is that a glitch or is that something new? I don't know about. You can't step on soul sand anymore? Or is it invisible fire? Visible fire, I think. It's got to be. You know, I actually need glowstone too, so I'm going to grab this on the way back. And look at this. It's like it's not giving off light. Oh, now it is. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, that is a lot of glowstone, isn't it? That's like a triple cluster all together in one spot. I'm, I got 31 right now. Let's see how many I get when I harvest it all. And the final count is two stacks and 21. I think I had 31, so that's that's 118 <laughs> from that one little spot here. All easily, all easy to get to, and I think a couple even burnt in the lava. So pretty good. Should keep us going for a while. Load world, load. Woo. Mm, don't miss, don't miss. Whew. <laughs> and we are home. Yes, yeah, so there is a few things I'm curious about with this new ore. It's a new ore. we got to figure out what you can and can't do with it. Uh, since it's netherrack, I'm wondering if you can actually light it on fire and have it stay lit. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not in here. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, that was really dumb. This looks a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, let's try this out. I think... Yeah, I got nothing that would burn up of. Seems to be... Seems to be staying lit. Let's just watch it for a sec. I don't... Oh, it went out. I don't like... Uh, the inventory's all messed up. I'm having trouble clicking things. I don't know. And it like lags weird. Like I know they added that feature, but I don't really like it. <laughs> it's makes it's making it very hard to do anything. I'm finding in the inventory. Um, so I'm wondering if we can mine it with a wooden pick. Yep, cool. Gave us the ore. Um, what else should we try? I guess can we smelt it? Take that out. Yeah, we can smelt it. And, oh yeah, and we should check if I got a fortune pick around here. It'll give us one, right? Yep. Uh, I didn't get XP, but there might not have been enough there to get XP. Um, fortune, fortune. There we go. Alright, this last one we will try fortune on. I can't believe I lit a fire in here. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh, I think it dropped two. Okay, we got 20. 24. Oh, baby. Okay. Use fortune on it if you can. That's a big difference. Although, I guess there was lots of it there. doesn't matter too much. Um, all right, yeah. Today, I think we we're going to focus mo mainly on the new features of the the redstone update snapshot because that is pretty pretty cool and a big effect on the game yeah I'm having like I click on this and then it doesn't pick it up sometimes I can see that being very frustrating if it doesn't change I thought that's how you make the day night sensor I'll have to double check uh, maybe maybe let's try make some of the other stuff too <laughs> 
I can't pick stuff up. Oh man, it's brutal. I figured we should move to a spot where we have a little bit more space. So we're up here now. Uh, I made two of these already, but I'll show you how to do it. Just in case for some reason you are not playing this amazing <laughs> new snapshot. That's how you make the redstone comparator. Uh, I guess let's go through all the stuff that was added. Uh, there's the gold weighted pressure plate. That's the light one. Uh, there's also an iron plated pressure plate. That's the heavy one. Uh, there is the reason I was having trouble with the the daylight sensor. I I guess I was using these old oak slabs, the ones that didn't burn. Um, I just grabbed them from the chest. Didn't really think about it. But if we use a new oak wood slab, then we can make it. And there's the redstone block. Oh boy, <laughs> uh, looks awesome. Then there's the trap chest, let's make a couple of those. This is a really excellent feature, especially for like custom maps and stuff. Oh man. CTM maps. Um, I think that's it. I can't make the hopper. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm probably forgetting something. It'll come to me. Alright, well, one. I'll tell you what happened. When the update first came out, the thing I was most excited about was the redstone block. And looks pretty cool. It almost looks like it's giving off light, but it isn't. <laughs> it's got that glow to it, though. It's cool. Uh, it's a way to store redstone in a compressed way. Not that I ever have any that I need to. <laughs> um, yeah, I was excited about because I thought I was going to be able to make it some awesome conveyor belt, some cool elevator, and I might be able to, but it's not as simple as I thought it was, but it acts like a redstone torch. Very cool. You can move it with pistons. This is the thing that sort of disappointed me the most, so, and I hope they change it. If you put a redstone block in front of a piston it doesn't actually move it like it doesn't it doesn't uh, power the piston which is really sad because uh, it's like a mechanical redstone torch and the idea is you want to move it places and if and the easiest way of moving it places is to put it directly in front of a piston so it's kind of hoping it would actually work but it doesn't uh, it moves a player um, in fact, yeah, you know what I think it is? I think when pistons first came out, uh, this is what I remember, uh, there was that glitch where if you put a redstone torch in front of it, it would extend and crash your game. You remember that? That was like a year ago. Uh, and Notch fixed it so that, well, I think the way he fixed it is by making it not actually power the piston. So maybe that's why it's that way still. Maybe there's a technical reason for it. I don't know, but I hope they change it. Um, and it applies to any any angle. Actually, let's try a sticky. Yeah, see, it doesn't get powered. I think it'll push us up. I, was, I thought I was going to make a cool elevator or something, though. Oh, well. Ta-da! And it does that, too, by the way. If you take the power away, it powers the piston then. So that's kind of interesting. Very cool, nonetheless. I'm sure, well, there's already been a few cool things people have made with it. Um, the day night, the, the daylight, oh, daylight sensor, not day night sensor. That's right. Because uh, it only detects day, although you can invert the signal. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's only making it up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This variable redstone thing is a great addition to the game. I I kinda hope they go back and change some of the older stuff too. Like I think of glowstone lamps. How cool would it be if you could like have a variable light adjustment to it? Like if it's only sending power one block, it only gives off one one light. If it's two blocks oh wait, no no. Reverse, reverse that. <laughs> if it's extending all the way, 
like fi like 15 bucks and it's only light level 1 and 14 would be light level 2, 13 would be light level 3 kind of have an adjustment to that although we might want a different block for it entirely if that was added or yeah we got these weighted pressure plates Let's, I haven't actually tried these uh, the thing I was mostly playing around with in creative was the hopper uh, I really want to make an automatic brewing stand at some point so the more items we throw on this the farther the signal is going to go you can see it's going three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it goes pretty quick. Uh, I think it's 57 items to get up to full power for the gold one. And then the, can't remember what the iron one was, but it's like several, like, <laughs> uh, I don't want to put a number out because I'm going to be wrong, but I think it's around 40 stacks of stuff to get it full powered. I know it's more though, or or around there. <laughs> so I think if we throw this full thing on it, I just, let's just try one. Yeah, one will get it going. Ooh, what did I throw there? Stack of redstone makes it go two, three. Pretty cool. Only for items though, not players. What I kind of hope they do. Like, we have the stone pressure plates that detect uh, players and mobs and stuff. I kind of hope they apply this variable redstone to it as well. And maybe give each mob its own special weight. Like, like chickens would be a light mob, and cows would be a heavy mob. And we could use that to detect mobs. Or, like, a baby cow would be lighter than a, an adult cow. That would be awesome. So yeah, you can see it's it's nighttime and this daylight sensor is not putting out a signal at all. Uh, throughout the whole night, it doesn't put out a signal. It's only like early sunrise to late sunset that you'll get a signal from it. Oh, oh, I thought that was a creeper. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, let's just try this out. I want to. I haven't actually tried it underground. And for what I wanted to build today, we'll be putting that underground. Alright, so it should... Uh, might need a direct line to the sky. Oh no. Yeah, because it's early early sun rise, because we just slept. So it should get further and further as the day goes on. And then midday, it's at full strength. Pretty sure. Is it at two yet? Uh, it's still at one. Alright, anyway, moving on. We have the redstone comparator. Compare. Yeah, comparator. I think I'm saying that right. Another excellent addition. Uh, it adds. There's a lot of functionality to such a. to a single block, which is what I like about what redstone what uh, Mojang does <laughs> or what Notch did you know it just takes simple concepts and you can use them in so many different ways uh, so this thing it will compare two redstone signals uh, the length of the redstone uh, so this is the main side here side A as people call it if I put wait a minute if there's no power coming from the sides it will go right through uh, if if this sig signal is stronger than this one, it will cut off the signal. If we have it even, it goes right through. And if we have it further away, it goes right through. So, can we only... Again, this is another thing I haven't played around with too much. Okay, uh, sorry about that. I got a little distracted trying some things with this, and it it led on to a few other things and a few more things. And oh man, I am <laughs> I am fascinated with it. it. It is really cool. Uh, okay, first of all, it, it's sort of 
works as a repeater, sort of, not really. Alright, so that only extends its... Yeah, <laughs> uh, you, I'm still learning here. Uh, this, you can see the signal goes up to here, up to that soil block. If we add one, let's just ha add it halfway down. It extends it two blocks. And another two blocks. If we s let's see here. Oop. If we move it all the way back by the torch, does it go further? I can't remember now. All right, still only two blocks. And yeah, two blocks every time. Okay, uh, this thing, it has a little bit of a delay to it as well. Uh, it's very, very short, though. All right, but we can kind of use it as a repeater. Look at that. Like, it's fast. I can't tell if that's a visual, <laughs> if it's visually updating or if it's actually... Uh, Pretty close to instant. I can't can't really tell. Maybe let's put torch at the end here. Oop. I like. I don't want to use my, my inventory at all anymore. I hate it so much. <laughs> it's so hard to do anything uh, with it being all glitched out. All right. Yeah, there is a delay to it. That's what I thought. I uh, okay. I was doing some weird stuff with it. If you if you do this like that, and you put a torch down, it stays powered, right? Kind of like a repeater does. If you remove the torch, you can see it slowly fades out. <laughs> really neat. If you extend it a little bit further, though, see is that too far? It'll start pulsing like this. That's that's really cool. Um, if we put repeaters around it, we can see that a little better. Not all of them, just just the ones over here. These two actually pulse. These ones stay stay on all the time. I'm wondering if you can use it like as a two-way repeater. It's not really meant to be a repeater, though. Oh yeah, also you can use it as a clock. Uh, let's let's set that up. I'm I'm wondering how it compares to a redstone clock if you make it go faster, stably. All right, do this. Very neat. Uh, if we shorten it, I don't think it works. Yeah, it's too fast. I'm using a torch, though. What else? What else? So there's a negative thing to it as well. If you right-click it, that light turns on. It like does a subtraction, apparently. One, two, three, four. So this is at three. Probably gonna have a hard time demonstrating this because I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I think B, yeah, the other side has to be s further out, is it? Oh, oh, that pulse. Did you see that? Hmm, that's a monostable circuit right there. <laughs> that's what I see. That's a very simple monostable circuit. If you just want a quick pulse. Yep. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of cool. But you can turn that into a T flip flop and <laughs> all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, let's use a real pist uh, sticky piston here. Learning as I go. I should probably just cut this. I'm <laughs> I'm. I'm not very focused at the moment. I'm just trying random stuff. Um, 
Okay, what was I doing? Just this? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, here's a pretty simple T flip flop you can make with it. Piston one. If you use a redstone block, I have this on the subtraction. Off. On. Off. On. And it's sort of adjustable. Like if you decided I don't want it to be a T flip flop anymore, turn that off. And it's not. Or another thing you can do is just change that. And now it's not a T flip flop. So that's kind of cool. Okay, it looks like there is a way of making a stable clock out of this that is super duper fast. If you if you put these on subtraction and do a loop like this. Woo! <laughs> so as long as it's getting power, it'll pulse like that. It's very, very fast. Uh it does cause a lot of lag though, so it's not really a good thing. Also, there's another cool thing you can do with these uh using dispensers. You just took up a dispenser to it, put items in, power it, shoots it out extremely quickly, I think as quick as possible. That's really cool. Uh, I think in this patch also they fixed the dispenser bug, which is... Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of sad about it, to be honest. Oh, maybe not. Okay, sweet, they didn't. <laughs> I was worried they did. I thought I read they did. Whew. Sweet. <laughs> that means my fireworks show should still work on the Minecraft server. Alright guys, I came up with a pretty fun way of doing an RS Norlatch here as well. Just two sticky pistons and two redstone blocks. Uh, if, you, if you press it, nothing happens. If I go to this one, it switches. Doesn't matter how many times I press it, it doesn't switch again. Uh huh. Whoops. Oh man, it's crazy. This piston, he wanted this redstone block, right? But when he went for it, this guy, he wanted it too, and they both reached for it at the same time, and and they're, they're best friends, and they can't decide who gets it, so... Nobody gets it. Uh-oh. Now we've really done it. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's your problem. Nobody. I don't usually get s motion sickness, guys, but, uh... Even I have my limits. And then the three pistons, they start to play a game of keep away. The guy in the middle, he got the redstone block. And the guy on the left, he's like, give it to me, give it to me. And he puts his arms up to try take it. And then the guy on the right, he does the same. He puts his arms up to try take it. And the piston in the middle, he's like, no, you can't reach it. Rain, get lost, man. Seriously. Nobody likes you. Thank you. Okay, I thought this was kind of interesting. Uh, these are like exact opposites. And you know what happens when you do this, right? Burns out. What do you think is going to happen if I do it on this one? No change. Oh, man, that's a lot of guys. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, I have been working on this mushroom farm, uh, li little bits here and there. It's, it's at the point where all these detectors are working. Oh! 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 Oh dear. One second. We're good. We're good. <laughs> that was pretty close though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I've been working on that. Still plan on finishing it. Although with all this automating, automating of stuff, I I really want to start making new farms <laughs> for like everything. But uh, until it comes out, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to actually get to this idea today. Unfortunately, I've 
derped around too long with the redstone and I have to go to bed. But uh, I'll try to get that done for next episode and I'll show you. Uh, but here is the question I have picked out for today, which actually goes along with what I was just saying. Etho, in some of your videos you mentioned that that's all the recording time you have for that day. Do you specifically allot time for recording each day? Also, about how much time is between... Well, maybe we'll just take this first part, first of all. Um, I do... I try to start early in the day with my recording so I can get it done. Uh, I find I keep... I keep going, though, until I'm out of time for the day. And when I, when I say that, I mean it's past midnight. I gotta go to bed. And I should not be recording any longer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I try to start as early as I can. It helps... But usually I'll just keep going and just do more stuff in an episode if I have more time. Uh, also, about how much time is between the recording and editing process. Uh, if you mean like playtime, uh, there's there's actually a thread on the Reddit today about that. Uh, how much playtime versus actual recording time. I would say I play at least ten times more than I record. Like... Playtime versus record time. If I have a 20 minute episode, I've played at least 200 minutes. I would, well, even more than that. I'd say at least four or five hours per episode. Um, but yeah, <laughs> editing. I am, I'm known as a very lazy editor. Uh, all I do is basic cutting and stuff. That's it. Nothing fancy. I would like to get into something, some fancy stuff, eventually, but. Yeah, I don't spend a lot of time editing. Usually 5 to 10 minutes max per video. <laughs> Unless I'm doing something a little bit out of the ordinary, like adding background music or something like that, which I don't do too often for speeding stuff up. Keep making your videos. They're always really entertaining. Well, I thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you again next time. Wait, wait, wait. How many is it this time? Are you gonna shoot out? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Bye, guys.